Hey everybody, GM Kubo here, aka Ground Meat Kubo, aka Kubo, here with another uh, analysis video from round three of the 2024 Daily Chess Championship. I uh, picked out two games against the same opponent just because uh, I felt like they're more interesting and sharp compared to a lot of my games. I didn't do so well in this round. Um, had some really good competition and I feel like most of the games I just kind of got ground down, um, lost an edge and then the slow defeat kind of thing. But these two games I felt were, um, more interesting. So I'll just jump into the game review. As you can see, a bunch of brilliant moves in here. Um, what did it say? It said I got one and he got two. So anyways, let's go through. Um, uh, boom. So that's the first one going into fried liver attack. Which I'm a big fan of. Now, I don't actually know the fried liver that well. Oh, I got two brilliant moves. Oh, great. Sweet. Um, yeah. I feel like this position is so sharp, I can't really go through everything. And I know when I played the game, I spent a long time thinking about what to do. Obviously, I want to try and get my rook here. His knight is uh, guarding that square. I'm not sure what my overall plan is. Kind of maybe hoping that he will take him and then my rook there. I'm not I'm not too sure. Um what are we at? I have a two point eight advantage, so this is peak according to this graph for me. And I guess here I started to go wrong. <clears throat> okay, so better would have been take and then follow up with this check, huh? Like I said, sharp and man, just so many possibilities. Yeah, so I guess this was the big blunder. What was I thinking here? So maybe I am, maybe I'm just hoping for this. No, oh, that's best, okay. All these are no good. That's not a check, so I'm just dropping my queen. That's a check. That's obviously bad. So we got king just sidesteps. Okay, well, let's see what. Like, uh, to begin with, this looks okay. King e8. Okay, so if we trade everything off, I'm pretty sure I would have looked at this. The problem, yeah. So the problem with all these lines is that by the end of it, I feel like he has this extra move and he's on this rook. So it always ends with that. Um, so a better move. So here's where I lost my advantage again. Better move. Queen, queen check. Let's see what the follow up is. Another check, getting out of that bishop attack. Just don't know. I guess I have enough attackers there. So now, it's, now you go in for the rook. Okay. <clears throat> Too bad. So sad. So um, he takes with the pawn, I take with the bishop because my queen's under check, I gotta take with check. And it looked like even here that this was a better move. Wait, is that what I was saying? No. 
yeah the best move here was queen there but the best move here was another queen check um so yeah now i'm in a lost position but it just feels like i should have something there goes my rook there goes his queen so what did i end up trading no okay yeah so uh, I got back rank problems with that rook gone. So I take his queen, but he's able to... My queen has no way of defending this back rank. Um, surely I go take and then block here. No. No, I can just take the rook. Hmm. And that's, in, that's just to keep pieces on the board, I suppose. Was that a best move? Yeah, it was. Um, so I can keep my dark square bishop a bit longer. And then even here, it just seemed like I had some kind of mating net. Just not enough, not enough power. As you can see by the, the graph here, I didn't really have anything. But I remember at the time thinking I have a, like mating tricks or uh, I can promote that past pawn there. But um, according to that graph, pretty futile. And as you know, I like to play the things out all the way to the end. All right. Not much else to say about that. Would have liked to have gotten that one. Would have liked to have found a better continuation. Well, obviously here where I was at my peak. Um, and I just like the fact that I'm down I'm down my knight and trying to win with an attack, but hard, hard to find. At least I find it hard to find. Okay, next game against same guy. <clears throat> Some more brilliant moves in this one. Very proud of that. Yeah. Uh, I think I don't really know what I'm doing here, to be honest. Like, I don't recognize anything that's going on. I got really no plan. I guess I'm just trying to play somewhat decent moves. Um, it likes pushing that pawn first. Luckily for me, he doesn't do anything about it. And now I push it. Great. Uh, and then it's kind of in this area here where... You can kind of see that like all his pieces are stacked up on the queen side here um, and not much around his king whereas I feel like this pawn chain is doing an excellent job keeping them there as well like how is this dark square bishop ever gonna see anything and um, meanwhile my bishops they're able to get over to the king side pretty quick my queen as well like the queen's kind of offside here so he should really be trying to break this open um, my knights have kind of drifted this way as well so it's in here where it kind of seems like start moving pieces towards the king and make an attack and i think in general he kind of ignores ignores it like his queen's getting further away he's trying to get a pawn break there um so here's where i actually find some good moves again i mean another is Another sacrifice, preparing to go down a piece, but his king would wouldn't be able to escape. So let's see, like what happens. He takes. Well, I guess here's a main six, but his top play is minus seven. I don't know with these knights coming in. And here I'm. I get my piece back and I got two pawns for it and the king's totally open. So yeah, his best play here after taking my bishop would be um, minus seven. Other than that, he's getting mated if I find it. But um, he doesn't, he plays the best move. And then I play knight g4. Again, like not caring about this bishop. Um, better, it turns out, was this move. I believe this was the best move minus five now and this is only minus 4.7 uh but i didn't see it just not trying to get my pieces in there uh 
Um, yeah, I feel like the end here was pretty simple. I think he did all that he could, but just this bishop, these rooks. I'm preparing this rook lift. Trying to keep pieces on the board. That knight's super dangerous. So let me take, let me take a look here, actually. Just because I want to see how... Obviously, I didn't play that, that. Instead of that brilliant move, I could have played the queen g, g5. Um, but I feel like I had a pretty good sequence here. Okay, so I could have played queen g5, but I played knight. Sorry, I'm going all the way back here. I just really am just tooting my own horn. That was just a good, good, but not the best. Best move, best move. Good move. Best. 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 Okay. Best. 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 I mean, maybe it's not terribly hard to find, but... I felt like I was doing some good work here. Um, and then here is where it finally falls completely apart. What's my plan here? With this move, so I, I guess he that was an inaccuracy from him, but it's at minus six now, and it says there's a mate in four. So I played the best move, mate in three, mate in two. Okay, so that was easy, and then you resign. So I feel like I maybe at this point I had seen the mate in four. I guess I could have tried to find it. Um, so king here. And what? Work here. Okay, here. I don't know if I'm going to find it. And I'm feeling a little mentally lazy. So let's take a look. Um, how do I do that? So, King okay, here. That's the check, man. It's so easy to find. Why didn't I see it? Who knows? King here. And then just keep following it up. Okay. Sweet. Okay, so that's those are the two games I want to show. And um, this is the bracket. The like total outcome here. Didn't do so good. A lot of zeros. Um, really I, I didn't feel like I played particularly well um, for a variety of reasons, but I mean, these guys, I think I lost pretty handedly. There's a, there's a couple games that feel like I should have won and didn't, but um, mostly these guys were much better than me. And I looked earlier, um, the leaderboard, and this guy is actually top of the round, which means he... I think he has three draws across the whole tournament, and no losses. So he's at the top of the bracket across the tournament. But unfortunately, this is the end of the line for me for the 2024 tournament. Um, yeah, so I guess the next video will be in 2025 if that happens. And I wish this guy good luck since uh, he seems to be stomping everybody. And in, in general, I felt like um my bracket was honest like i know last time i thought there's some, some suspicious activity in terms of like uh engine help and i just wanted to show that this guy's profile this guy ended up beating me who knows if it's on here no um this guy ended up beating me in the tournament and then losing on time against me in the tournament so i had an even result against him when i should have lost both games but again he's been super suspicious and it, i didn't report him or anything but it's good to see that the chess.com um bot or whatever that finds that if people are cheating or detects if people are cheating is working well because this guy got shut down and i totally think he was cheating um Okay, that's all.